Yeah, I've got, I got three films that I really like, and uh, they would be Rumblefish, uh, Blade Runner, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. So why? So, Rumblefish then. I really like Rumblefish because, well, it's, it's, it's filmed in black and white. It's about these guys who do bad things, but one of them, one of them gets caught, goes to prison, and when he comes out, he wants to be good. And he doesn't see why anyone should ever be kept captive. And not just anyone, it's the fish. He doesn't see why the fish should be swimming around in a bowl in the pet shop. And, uh, and so he realises this, but none of his friends or the police or anybody realise that he's changed. And so it's that, it's that sort of moment when he realises he can free the fish. He can rumble the fish, he can get them out and set them free. Um, where things go wrong because uh, the police think he's broken into the pet shop because he's bad and um, he ends up getting shot and killed by the police while he's feeding these fish but his brother realises it right at the end that actually he's changed and he picks up the flapping fish that are on the ground and he sets them free and for me it's to do with how people can change it's to do with the, the good that's in everyone it's to do with um, you know, just, just the sort of whole welfare of people, of animals, of, of living things that they're all equal which is great, I really like it um, and I love the fact it's filmed in black and white, apart from the fish, which are in colour, just great. Um, so the uh, Blade Runner then. Um, Blade Runner I've watched so many times, probably, probably, I don't know, 200 times, because when we were students it was the only video that we had that was half decent, and we watched it every week, again and again and again. And when you watch it now, which I just bought it on DVD, in the last year probably and, and you, you watch it again and it takes me back to being with my friends, being a student and being young but when you see the film it's, there's so much about it that is, that is timeless even though it's about being in a set in a different time it's about being, um, being uh, uh, you're finding out stuff about people again it's the people are the really key um, parts of it, whether they're real people or replicants and whether they're, um, they've gone a bit rogue or not and it's, you, know, you just can't actually work out when it's set, is it set in the past or the future with some futuristic things, it's just really, um, it just says something to me about, about the power of film and it's really well shot and really well thought out. Um, the third film then, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, this is the hardest one to say why I like it. Um, but I kind of like it because there's some good in it, some bad in it, and some ugly in it. And, and it's about summing up that, um, you know, what's good and bad about people. Um, showing them in different situations and giving them a, a sort of um, a feeling that, that actually everyone can be a bit good, everyone can be a bit bad. It's all to do with perception, where you're brought up, how you're brought up, the situation you're in. And I just think that's, that's kind of cool. It's, it's, uh, it, it, well, it is kind of cool. Well, Clint's in it, and he's cool. So, you know, what, what else could not be right about a film like that?